Finally, learning the origins, insertions, and actions of the muscles in your body is made sensible and simple. Pectoralis major originates right here on the sternal one half of your clavicle. Your clavicle is your collarbone. Okay, right there. The sternal one half refers to the half of the clavicle over by your sternum, which is where the lower fibers of the chest muscle, the pectoralis major, attaches to your sternum and to the costal cartilage of ribs one through six or one through seven. Okay. Last muscle of the hip adductor group is called the gracilis. It is a very long strap-like muscle. It originates from the pubis, right here on the front of your pelvis, crosses the hip joint and crosses the knee joint, very important, inserts on the medial tibia. Your tibia is your shin bone, so it's going to insert on the, the medial side, the inside of your shin bone. The sciatic nerve goes right through the piriformis muscle or right next to it, real close, so if the piriformis becomes tight or inflamed or irritated or spasmed or anything, it can pinch on that sciatic nerve, causing radiating pain. I will be your host, and my name is Doug Gibson, a physical therapy professional and former Mr. Ohio bodybuilding champion. I will be taking you on a simple and sensible journey of muscular anatomy, using both layman's terms and the proper medical terms terminology to teach you where 50 different muscles attach on the human skeleton. I will not only demonstrate the actions that these muscles give the human body, but also teach you the proper medical terminology to describe these human movements. And since muscular anatomy lessons include where the muscles attach on the bony skeleton, I felt it was very important to include anatomical lessons of the skeletal anatomy as well. While you probably know the term tailbone, you might not know exactly what it refers to, so let me fill you in. The tailbone is actually your sacrum and your coccyx, okay? Nine different bones fuse together into two, your sacrum and your coccyx. Five bones fuse together to form your sacrum which is right up here. Sacrum actually comes from a term meaning sacred. And then four different bones fuse together to form your coccyx, which is that little point down here. And the term coccyx comes from the term cuckoo because of the similarity your, your, your cuckoo, the similarity your coccyx has to a cuckoo bird's beak. Now, as you know, your arm can move everywhere. I mean, you just have tremendous amount of movement in your arm. And why do you have that much movement? Because 24 different muscles attach to your humerus. Now these are much more than simple anatomy lessons, as my education and experience in physical therapy enables me to share with you the etiology or cause of a number of different injuries and pathologies to the human muscular and skeletal system. Now whether you're simply a person interested in the human body, a college student, or a medical professional, you will find these lessons a valuable contribution to your education in muscular and skeletal anatomy. Let me give you a brief preview of your lessons. The rotator cuff. If I've ever heard a group of muscles that gets its name butchered, it is the rotator cuff. It is not the rotator cup. It is not the rotary cup. It is not the rotary cuff. It is the rotator cuff. It is a cuff of four muscles, very, very important muscles to help stabilize the shoulder joint and to give us movement. All the muscles of the rotator cuff originate on the scapula, so let's get a quick lesson on our scapula. Your shoulder blade is a bone that I think is absolutely fascinating, and I'll get into all the reasons why here in a second. Now, this muscle is huge. It gives us a lot of action. It crosses all the different segments of your lumbar and thoracic spine. It also crosses the shoulder joint, so it's going to give us motion on all these different joints. Let's talk about the shoulder. First of all, the latissimus dorsi gives us internal rotation. Okay, This is a throwing motion, internal rotation. It gives us adduction. Here's adduction, pulling your arm closer to your side. Adduction. And the latissimus dorsi this muscle originates on the ischial tuberosity of your pelvis. This, this uh, ischial tuberosity is sometimes referred to as your butt bone by lay people. So that's the origin of the muscle. It crosses the hip, it crosses the knee, and it inserts on the lateral condyle of your tibia along with the head of your fibula. 
The next two muscles, the semimembranosus and the semitendinosus, are two muscles that parallel each other. Muscular anatomy made sensible will prove to be a nominal investment in your education that gives you a lifetime of benefits and rewards. For information on this two-disc DVD set, contact Sensible Fitness directly by calling us or by emailing us.